this puppy can do.
friend, but now you're just too damn big. Come in, Anya. Do you read? William, I read you. What's happening? You okay there, darling? I'm doing... Uh, fine. <laughs> I'm trying to regroup with Wyatt. I've contacted Grace. The U-boat is on its way in. And we are on our way to Lakeview District. Well, listen, don't do anything reckless. Now you stay safe. I'll be fine. And you're out. Horton, what's your status? Round up the last of the people and fixing to leave. You'll make your way to the Lakeview District. Bring everyone. We're getting a ride out of here. Well, Billy, that might be a fine idea in theory, but I reckon all them Nazis between here and yonder might slow us down dearly. Wager I can get their attention. Stop. Lakeview District.
around here. We're standing on top of the Lakeview apartment building. So many of them. They just keep coming. So many Nazis. It never ends, does it, Captain? Can you dig it, man? Wyatt, out. Terror Village, we've met up with your people on the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. That ride of yours better get here soon, because we won't hold out much longer. Boss man, come in. Where's our boat? I don't see no boat. We're getting our butts handed to it. Wyatt, Anya, help everyone get on board the U-boat. The Nazis will regroup and attack. Hurry up. Blaskowitz, get your ass up on the Lakeview apartment building roof and climb on board the U-boat. We've spotted the outsmerzer on the radar. It'll be here any minute. Haul ass!
Blasters, now! Blasters, now! Looks like the Aus Mercer lost track of us. Clear skies on the scope? Friar Angle commands it now. Using it to hunt terrorists. But in the way back, the Aus Mercer would roam from city to city, crushing any resistance. Now, if we ignite a revolt, you can be sure the Aus Mercer swoop in, put an end to it, break and say hell's bells. Are we gonna start this revolution? We need to put an end to the Aus Mercer firstly. So then we mount a surprise attack. Conquer the Ausmercer and use it against the Nazis. Well, the Ausmercer is protected by an automated security system called Odin. Seen it when I was up there. We'll hijack the system, find the Odin codes, and disable the fucking thing. Yeah, but that kind of information is a top military secret. Only the Oberkommando is privy to it. It's so easy, man. I've got it all figured out. Oh, yeah? After you atom bombed the bejesus out of the old Oberkommando at Roswell, the Nazis ran scared. They took all their top brass, all their top military secrets, and they reestablished the Oberkommando on Venus. Venus, the planetary body, Venus in space, man. It is cold. Up there, you're gonna need radioactive mittens. Mittens, nigga! Okay, we're just gonna fly there. We are gonna load up, and we're gonna fly. Uh -huh. Oh man, we're just gonna take our choppers, but instead of only going so high, we are just gonna keep going straight up right into space with the mind, you know. Then we're gonna drop you off on Venus. You're gonna break into the Ober Commando, and you are gonna steal those Odin secrets from their computing machines. So, I might have a plan too? Wyatt, do you mind? No, man. It's all good. In two days, final auditions for the role of the infamous terrorist William Terrabilly Glaskowitz take place on the enigmatic Aristat habitat on Venus. One of the hopeful actors is Jules Redfield, here getting a snack from his favorite milkshake bar in his hometown of... Anya, what you think? William and I are going for milkshakes. His papers are all in his glove box. Yeah. What about him? Well, is he a Nazi? You a Nazi feller? <laughs> Can't even tell no more. How I look? Like a walrus. Don't forget your luggage. Remember, you are Jules Redfield, professional actor. Traveling to Venus to audition for the part of William Joseph Blaskovich. Now, you are summoned by personal invitation, so security should be minimal. Break a leg. Mr. Redfield? Mr. You, Sir Redfield? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's me. I'm Helena, the director of this film. Apologies for the long journey, but my producer favors a safe location and has an affinity for dramatic settings. Uh, come. Oh, uh, I'm on my luggage. Someone will bring it for you. Come, come. Welcome. Welcome to the audition, Mr. Redfield. Now that you're all here, I ask you to prepare yourselves. You must be off book for this audition, so be sure to memorize your lines before the producer gets here. He has a volatile disposition, so be careful what you say and do in his presence. Mr. Redfield, I can't stress enough how important it is you learn these lines by heart. Your script is on the chair. I will be with you shortly. Can't blow my cover. Better keep a low profile. How am I supposed to remember this shit? I'm gonna write this down. Casting director, son. Places, places, quickly! <coughs> Hide Hitler!
Lucha. ¡Ay, Hitler! Helene. Ja, kommen Sie. Haben Sie das gesehen? Fremde in meinem Büro. Würden Sie mir bitte verraten, wer in Gottes Namen das ist? Ja, ja. Es sind Schauspieler, mein Führer. Schauspieler? Ja. Diese Männer wollen für die Rolle von William Josef Blaskowitz vorsprechen. Es sind Schauspieler. Es tut mir leid, meine Nachricht hat sie wohl nicht erreicht. Was? Und besser konnten wir nicht finden. Keiner von denen sieht dem Kerl auch nur ähnlich. Ja, ja, ja das kriegen Gott wir. Noch mal. Das kriegen wir mit Schminke hin, mein, mein Führer. Oh, oh ja, Schminke. Mhm. Gut. Das ist magisch. Schauspieler, geschult in der Kunst der Verkleidung und der Täuschung, ja, ähnlich wie Spione. Vielleicht ist er ein Spion unter Ihnen. Sie haben sicher alle mein Buch gelesen. Oh, yes, mein Führer. And my children have read it, too. I loved it, Mr. Hitler. Super good. Mr. Hitler, wenn Sie mich ansprechen, sagen Sie, mein Führer. Verstanden? Haben Sie keinen Respekt vor Autorität? Ihre Worte gewähren Einblick in einen höchst verraterischen Geist. I am so sorry, mein Führer. Sind Sie denn ein Idiot? No, mein Führer. Sind Sie ein verkleideter Schurke, ein Jude? Ein verräterischer Jude? No, no, mein Führer. I'm... I'm from Arizona. <lacht> Wölfe im Schafspelz, konspirierende, lügende, niederträchtige Juden. Ich erkenne sie schon von Weitem. Oh. Oh. Wenn Sie mein Buch gelesen haben, wissen Sie, dass ich die Wahrheit kenne. Und wer die Wahrheit auf seiner Seite hat, der gewinnt immer. So konnte ich die Welt von den Juden reinigen und so konnte ich die minderwertigen Kommunisten in die Knie zwingen. Oh, so ging das. Ich habe ihn vernichtet. William, oh, Josef, oh, Platzkowitsch. Oh. Oh. Ah. Helene. Mein absolutes Meisterstück, das Jahrhundert-Epos und mein künstlerisches Erbe. Wer mein Drehbuch liest, der wird die zahllosen Stunden zu schätzen wissen, die ich aufgewendet habe, damit jede Szene, jeder Zeiler, jeder Silber fehlerfrei ist. Bravo, mein Führer, bravo! <lacht> Willen. Mutti, mir ist so kalt. Weg! Weg! Sie! Sie spielen die Szene. Helene, zusammen mit Ihnen. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. What the hell did I write? And you are a Nazi whore. You monster! What are you going to do to me? Uh... I will rape and murder you. So many German innocent lives you have killed, but the German race will rise again! Shit.
I will murder your dirty race, too. <coughs> die Worte waren richtig, ja. Aber sie haben anscheinend nicht die mindeste Ahnung von der Psyche eines Mannes wie William Joseph Blatzkowitsch. Wie können sie sein, was sie nicht verstehen? Sie. Spielen Sie die Rolle. Füllen Sie, füllen Sie, füllen Sie die Rolle. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. Then you're a Nazi whore. You monster. What are you going to do to me? I will rape you. And I will murder you. So many German innocent lives you have killed. But the German race will rise again. And I will murder your dirty race, too. <laughs> Viel besser! Sie könnten von ihm lernen! Ich gebe Ihnen, was Sie brauchen, um den Geist dieses Irren zu verstehen, dieses dreckigen Untermensch. Oh, ich kannte ihn. In- und auswendig. Und darum konnte ich ihn gefangen nehmen und ihn der Gerechtigkeit übergeben. Oh, mein Gott, mein Gott, habe ich Hunger. William Josef Blatzkowitsch, aufgewachsen in Mesquite, Texas. Mischlingskind eines Verkäufers und einer polnischen Jüdin. Die Mutter wurde vom Vater ausgeliefert, starb in einem Vernichtungslager in Neumexiko. Selbst als Erwachsener waren seine geistigen Fähigkeiten noch die eines Kindes. Und tatsächlich, als wir nach seiner Exekution aufstehen, konnte man sehen, dass er Jude ist. Oh. Helene, machen Sie weiter. Ich bin müde. Aspirants, as you know, this role is very physical. William Josef Bloskowitz was not a man of intellect, he was a man of action. The scene takes place right before the scene you did earlier. Bloskowitz is about to plant the bombs that will massacre the German children in the orphanage. But first, he must eliminate the brave soldiers standing guard outside the school in a brutal fight scene. Mr. Llewellyn Irving? Llewellyn Ewing. Yeah. Why don't you start? <laughs> you will each improvise a fight sequence. And uh, once the guard is eliminated, uh, you finish the scene by reading the lines from the cue card, exactly as written. Places. And action. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, 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 stop, stop! Oh, God, I, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. I, I, I need to take a break. Line, please. Yeah, I, I need a doctor. Line. Okay. Your bravery is no match for a Neanderthal like myself. Besides, I only know how to fight in a dirty manner. And now, to kill all the innocent children, Germany's future. Ha, 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 what? Oh, God, God! Oh, no. <laughs> Mr. Redfield, please. The floor is yours. And action. <laughs> you wanted? Is that what you had in mind? You Nazi assholes. Cause that's all you're getting. Oh, Papa. 
Wunderbar! Habt ihr das gesehen, Helene? Wie geboren für die Rolle! Er, oh, er wird mein Platz gewinnen! Oh Gott! Er ist mehr als perfekt! Let me help you unpack, Mr. Redfield. Was zur Hölle ist das?